I think an isolated place, interestingly, provides the, the opportunity for almost anything happening. I mean, in, in a way it seems limited because there are very few people and so forth. The woods can be very beautiful. They can be very reassuring. They can be very peaceful. But it can also, it can be very spooky and unnerving. I really only like to write about characters that I'm interested in. And so I wanted to write about smart people. I wanted to write about, you know, a guy who tries to figure out everything. But I, you know, I also want to recognize the limitations of that thing. And so Gurney comes out of a, an insecure background. Uh, and then he has this traumatic event in the loss of his own child. Any kind of conflict helps. Gurney has endless conflict in himself. You know, he's, he's in, he, he loves Madeline, but he is, certainly isn't a very outgoing guy. You know, the way his mind works is very good in a certain way, but it's not real good for relationships. The people who like the books the best always tell me that they're fascinated with the relationship between Madeline and Dave. She wants to go out and, you know, walk in the woods and point at the birds, and he's, you know, he's drawing pictures of lunatics. In a sense, she's smarter than he is. She, in a sense, she's more perceptive than he is. And I think that's maybe an odd thing in detective books. That being said, what are crime novels about? They're about deception and discovery. To me, that's a very profound and interesting genre to work in because it, it takes that issue and it and enables you to illustrate a process of discovery. I mean, I, I find it fascinating. My books aren't so much about the fancy technology of crime solving. They're more about the, you know, what these guys actually do on a daily basis. I end up with things like this, these g giant stacks of of notes and, and uh, in, you know, these little index cards. They're just endless. This little pile of stuff here talks about um, things that the villain is gonna be thinking about at various times. And, and sometimes some, like a, a sentence or a word will occur to me. There's a lot of bits and pieces of my, my real life that they don't, they don't, they're not exactly presented exactly as they are in the books, but there are suggestive things that you know, give me ideas about things that would happen in the book. Now again, the, the, the den in the book isn't necessarily, you know, literally this den. For me, when I sit down at this laptop, what I'm doing is figuring out a crime scene or I'm figuring out a description of a scene. In some ways, I go through what Dave goes through. The next book, uh, has much more to do with um, the emotions driving the people in it. It has to do with mixed motives. It has to do with um, putting, uh, hi hiding a somewhat unpleasant motive under a nicer looking motive. Gurney will very, in the fourth book, will, you know, remains very much the Gurney we know, but I think he has events in his life that um, make him both sadder and perhaps a little more joyful. Learning more about himself and maybe being a little more accepting of who he is.